All right, in this section here, we're going to be talking about linear functions. Now, we talked about what a function was in the previous section, and we looked at a set of uh, ordered pairs, and uh, we were able to tell by looking at the set of ordered pairs if it was a function or if it was just a relation. But in this particular uh, case, we're going to be talking about linear functions. So, if you can remember, we had uh, we had talked about uh, linear equations. For example, this is a linear equation. But if we want to talk about a function, we can actually give the function a name and not write it as an equation here, but we can write this using this type of notation. And of course, f is kind of overrated, and so is x. Um, we can name our function anything we want. Sometimes we name them uh, g. g of x is equal to, let's say, 3x plus 3. Okay? Or we can name it h of x. And I'll give this one, make this one look different. How about just h of x is equal to 2x? All right? We could name it. Um, we can name it m. m sub x is equal to, let's say, a half x minus one. So this reads m of x. Okay, m of x. Now, this guy right here, um, we don't have to use x every time. For example, we can use a t. A lot of the times, if we're talking about time we use a t, t plus 1. We can call our function k and our independent variable is t. All right. Let's see, we can uh, add functions, I don't know, should I even talk about this? If I said k of t and m of t we can add our functions together and get a new function. We'll call it p of t. All right. Sometimes when we first start about learning about functions, um, we might talk about what's called a function machine. And I don't know, it's good to always put some kind of picture to this abstract idea. We'll call our function f, and all the things that go into the function is our domain, and stuff that comes out of our function is known as the range. Remember, this was talked about in the previous section. So let's say, for example, in this particular section here, we're talking about linear functions. So let's say... We define f of x as, we'll define it up here, f of x is equal to 2x. So, um, let's see, what, oh, you know what, let's end our, uh, our domain will be, um, let's say the domain's the set of natural numbers. So in other words, 1 goes into our function goes in there and 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 what do you think comes out two times one is two so two falls out one goes in the machine and two comes out of the machine let's say and let's see let's put another number in there let's say two goes in the machine so two goes in machine does its thing and out spits what two times two is four see that so this is known as our function machine here. So things that go in is the set of, is our domain, and things that come out is our range. Isn't that neat? The function machine. Do all kinds of stuff with that. You don't have to put numbers in the function machine. You can put just any kind of object in there. And whatever comes out, right, is, uh, is in a range. Now, if I were to put one in the machine, and two came out, but then you can't have two things come out of the machine at one time, or that's not a function, remember?